Why do I keep getting this question? Why are you okay with QT taking adult content money on Twitch, but not anyone outside your group? I didn't realize that was my group. You realize I've never talked to QT, like, in my life outside of DMs? What are you talking about? Are you talking about the Moo Kitty video? Because I thought that was all just, like, purposely trolling because of, like, the Zoomer edits and, like, the copyrighted music and shit. I didn't know that was, like, legitimate arguments people were making. Because that's all real bad faith shit. So, for example, I was called out because I pointed out Aiden Ross streamed porn to his audience on Kick. He went to Pornhub and just showed porn. I was like, that's weird. And then it was hypocrisy because I laughed when Fansly was shown at the Streamer Awards. How is that comparable? The clips shown in Fansly are more clothed than what you see on Twitch right now in the hot tubs category. You would have to sign onto the site in order to access the porn. It's not even comparable. On Pornhub, it was immediate dick, balls, pussy, cock, ass, everything. Right in their face. On Fansly, it was advertising porn, sure, but you'd still have to go out of your way to access it. It's legitimately no different than old commercials. Like when GoDaddy would use, like, Oh, here comes a strap coming off. Go to GoDaddy.com to see it finishing. I can't believe we're reverting so hard. It's not even comparable. Aiden Ross bringing up legitimate porn out of nowhere that was immediately seen and accessible to everyone watching is not the same as go to this QR code to access porn. They're both bad for kids. Yeah, but one of them's immediately porn in their face. The other one is they have to go sign up and then say they're 18 years or older to access the porn. One of them, you put porn on a stream that has kids watching. The porn is immediately there. The dick, the balls, the pussy, the tits, the ass, it's all out. The other one is, here's an advertisement. Click this, then confirm your 18 for the porn. It's not the same. In that case, why aren't we shaking our fists and getting outraged when we're driving down the road and seeing advertisement for strip clubs? Kids are in the car and they see those billboards. I see advertisements for strip clubs all the time going down I-4 when I'm going up north to Pennsylvania. There's kids in the cars and they see that. And some of those strip clubs have women in bikinis. But kids can't go inside the clubs. Right, but it's still advertising it to the kids. Uh, the kids probably also couldn't pay for the porn either. Or at least they shouldn't be able to, but, I mean, in this day and age, parents aren't monitoring their kids, so maybe they do. But it's still, the point stands. It was an advertisement that led to porn. It wasn't immediately putting porn in their face. It was you would go there to get the porn where you would sign up as 18 years or older. That is the exact same principle of, here's a strip club with women in bikinis. This is where you go to access it and kids see it. It's the same principle. And it's not even close to the same thing as I called weird with Aiden Ross, where he literally just pulled up real porn in front of them. It's not even close. That's a bad faith argument that's not even comparable. Why are you talking about this? Because that video, which I thought was a troll, because it, it seemed like it was just supposed to be a joke, but it looks like a lot of people are really running with that narrative of it's completely... Uh, hypocritical that I had laughed at Fansly being at the streamer awards and said it was weird when Aiden Ross pulled up actual Pornhub on his stream out of nowhere. It's so silly. It's an outrageous claim to make. No, it's not even one guy. It's like a whole bunch of people that for some reason think that. Well, it's not my kind of content anyway. I don't really like the Zoomer jingling keys of, like, constant sound effects and, like, copyright music blaring that you hear a million times on TikTok. It's not my kind of content, but it's not like I have a problem with it either. I thought it was supposed to be just jokes, but it seems like she's making, trying to make them real arguments. Or if it's not her, the community is.
I think he's just baiting and people are biting. That was the impression I got, but this has been like a week now. I thought it was all supposed to be ironic, but I guess that didn't make it to the to the audience. Thanks to Resub Lulu and Gato and Booty. And the bits blaine. I think the community's upset she got demonetized, so they're blaming it on the group. It's no mystery why she got demonetized, if that's true. Half of that video is literally just copyrighted music. There's no, like, conspiracy there, I doubt. If that's even true. I don't know, that's just one guy, so it could just be a fucking lie. Thanks, the resub, Sora. She got demonetized because she got attacked because she attacked a lot of big names. I've never heard of anyone on YouTube being demonetized because they made fun of Twitch streamers. I think the most likely case is all of the copyrighted music. I haven't had a Vienna sausage in years. I used to think Vienna sausages slapped, but it's been like a decade now since I've had them. Thanks to the resub woods. And the resub prime. Her comparison was asked, but the point of a fansly ad being bad for a minor based audience still holds. Well, then extend it to all of Twitch because minors can easily just go to the hot tubs category right now. And you get a lot more pornography out of that than that one fansly ad. But yeah, I mean, yeah. Of course, advertising fansly only fans or anything in front of an audience that has younger children on it, it's always going to be not a great decision. It's one of those things, yeah. So she needs to pick up arms and go against the hot tub category next and reinvigorate that fucking ancient debate. But she was advertising it to people. Twitch advertises the hot tub category. Log in, or don't log into Twitch, go to the front page and you get recommended Taylor Javot every single day. Every single day. So Twitch itself is always pushing the hot tub category. So one bad makes the other good? No. But they can both be bad, but only one is what people are harping on now, because it's the topical one. Keep the energy for both then, otherwise that makes you hypocritical as well. He's resub Corbin in the prime Chimania. And the resub Erica. The parents are never brought up in the discussion kind of wild. Not true, I actually just brought that up when referring to the fansly thing. He's the prime JMO. But parenting's kind of a, a lost art now. It's just sit your kids down in front of the computer and let the internet raise them. You gonna watch the Tetris movie? I was thinking about it. The trailer made it look like far more interesting than it probably will end up being. So I might give it a chance. Thanks, Resub Drago and the Prime Waltz. <clears throat> you don't know the first thing about raising children, Charlie. I don't have any kids, but I can tell you the worst way of raising them is by doing nothing and just sitting them in front of an, in front of an iPad. Don't need to be a father to tell you that much. The worst parents are the ones online. The last place I would ever want a kid to grow up is with the internet raising them. Why do so many view? I don't know. It It's literal nonsense i also recognize that guy's name it's a lot of shit takes from that guy in particular i think he's just like this factory for horrible <laughs> statements <laughs> but i usually bite on them because they're so outrageous